Hello friends, how are you? Today we are going to learn to make a double exposure effect for this. We have two photos here and you can download these photos from the description below by the download link. And here are the two photos. First of all, we have to drag the photos on the Photoshop screen. And we have this here and we have to drag another one the snow here is the photoshop screen just hit ok first of all you should, you must change this mode from normal to screen and now you are seeing the effect and then we will add a mask here and make sure that here you select the brush by pressing B on the keyboard or taking the brush from right here and uh, make sure the mask is selected and you see the square around the mask it means the mask is selected and make sure that uh, white is not the foreground color here's the black should be the foreground, foreground color you can switch it from this button or you can press X from the keyboard by to switch the color if you uh, take white as a foreground color then the brush will take no effect so switch to black as the foreground color and just make sure the size of the brush you can increase or decrease the size of the brush by pressing left square bracket to decrease the size and uh, the right to increase and make sure the size of the brush this uh, must be the size of the brush and just have one to two strokes uh, I'll make an other last one yes and uh, mode should be normal opacity and flow to 100% and the use and use soft brush right we have this and you can see it on the mask we have black in the foreground so black is showing here and now we will be adding a gradient layer from this panel by this button gradient i'll be using this gradient we'll take the good effect so hit ok and now but first we missed one step just disable the mask and change the opacity of this layer to about 75 to 76 percent will be okay yes this is okay now enable mask by you can enable or disable the mask by pressing shift and just click on the mask here it is enabled now so we did these steps and now we have taken the gradient layer and we choose this gradient now just make it visible and now change the normal mode to overlay right you can see the effect and then just reduce some opacity to about 60% will be okay you can yes you can see the effect right here this is called a double exposure effect because you are seeing two photos in one so this is the final result thank you for watching but first you have to please subscribe my channel if you like this video and please tell me in the comment section below about this video and thank you for watching.